welcome to Teacher IR's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell button. Thank you! God bless! Mwah! Good day, this is Teacher I, and in today's video, I am going to share with you about equivalent fraction. Let's go! We could find the equivalent fraction if we could multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So we just, sim uh, we just multiply it by the same number or divide it by the same number as well. So when we are going to identify or get the equivalent fraction using the multiplication, it would be like this one. So what is the equivalent fraction of 5 over 7? So we're going to multiply. Let's try to multiply them by 2. So we are going to multiply 5 times 2 is equals to 10. And 7 times 2 is equals to 14. So therefore, the equivalent fraction of 5 over 7 is 10 over 14. And another equivalent fraction for 5 over 7, if we are going to multiply them by by 3 so so we have 5 times 3 is equals to 15 and 7 times 3 is equals to 21 so therefore the equivalent fraction of 5 over 7 would also be uh, 15 over 21 another one so the equivalent fraction here are 5 over 7 10 over 14 and 15 over 21 so they are equivalent fraction using the multiplication. So how are we going to know if they are really equivalent fraction? So we could know it by doing the cross multiply. So we cross multiply to check if the two fractions are equivalent. So how to do it? There. So we are, go we are going to multiply 5 times 14 and 7 times 10 that would give us the answer of 70 both and we also have 10 times 21 and 14 times 15 that will give us uh, 210 so 10 times 21 is equals 210 and 14 times 15 is equals to 210 so since they have the same product okay the product of them is the same 70 and 70 210 and 210 so they are equal fraction so let's try to have this equivalent fraction using division so we're going to divide equally with the same number so we have the 3 6 is we're going to divide them by 3 so 3 divided by 3 is equals to 1 and 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. We also have there, so the answer is 1 half. And we also have there 4 over 8 divided by 2 is equals to 2 and 8 divided by 2 is equals to 4. So the 4 8 is equals to 2 over 4. So they are equivalent fraction. So the 3 6 and the 2 4. So the 3 6 and 2 4 are all are equivalent and also the 1 half. Why is 1 half is also equivalent? Because if we are going to divide the 2 4 into 2, 2 divided by 2 is equals to 1 and 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. So they have the same 1 half. So therefore, the 3 6 and the 2 4 and the 1 half are equivalent fraction. So let's do cross multiplication for us to know if they are really equivalent fraction. So we have there 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and 6 times 1 is equal to 6. They have the same product. So they are equivalent fraction another we have 4 times 2 is equals to 8 and 8 times 1 is equals to 8 as well so they have the same product so they are equivalent fraction so let's try to answer this uh, this 
um, fraction. Have some drill, multiply or divide to get the equivalent fraction of its of the following. So I already put there the numbers too. So for the 5 over 7, we're going to multiply them for 3. The 1 half, we're going to multiply them for 4. The, for the 5 15, we're going to divide them by 4. 5 as well. For the 12 over 8, 10, we're going to divide them by 6. So, uh, please get some paper and try to answer. Okay, if you're done, let's answer them together. So, we have the 5 times 3 is 15 and 7 times 3 is 21. That should be the answer. Next one, we have the 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, so it's 4, 8. And um, we also have there the 5, divide, divide, 5 is 1, and 15 divided divide, 5 is 3. So the 5 over 15, when the equivalent fraction of this is 1 third. The number 4, we have 12 over 18. So, 12 divided by 6 is 2. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So, therefore, the equivalent fraction... So, so therefore, the equivalent fraction of 5 over 7 is 15 over 21. The equivalent fraction of 1 half is 4, 4 over 8. The equivalent fraction of 5, 5 over 15 is 1 third. And the equivalent fraction of 12 over 18 is 2. I do hope you learned from this lesson of mine about equivalent fraction. This is teacher saying thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel there, Teacher IR. And God bless everyone and kids, don't forget to pray. Always follow and um, always obey and honor your parents and always study well. God bless and until then, bye-bye!